The Amazing Spider-Man is synonymous with the identity of Peter Parker, and it's pretty much been this way since his first appearance back in August of 1962. But recently, writer Dan Slott and artist Ryan Stegman rattled some cages and made some changes. I was really excited about the story when Dan told it to me because it provides you with a new way to tell stories with Spider-Man because sometimes you can kind of, you know, can kind of stagnate. And uh, not that, I mean, I thought all along Dan's run has been pretty, you know, innovative and interesting, but I mean, this in particular, I think this defines what he's done on the book. Dropping Peter Parker from the foreground of this title has been a controversial topic in the world of comics, and Stegman tells us what the response has been like. There's only been a couple people that have uh, yelled at me about not having Peter in the book, so that's that's good. It, it, the ratio is about, I'd say, 98% positive. So how the hell did Dr. Octopus become Spider-Man? Well, we thought you might ask that. Peter Parker has actually switched memories and brains with Dr. Octopus. Now Spider-Man is Dr. Octopus, and Peter Parker is in the dying body of Dr. Octopus. If you're already confused, then, you know, that's normal. Come on, guys. It's normal. Dr. Octopus is a superior Spider-Man who's a much more, um, I would say, not as much of a wussy. I don't think we've ever seen, like, a body switch. We probably have seen it. I'm probably uh, mistaken. This one's really good. Dr. Octopus is a merciless version of Spider-Man who doesn't hold back and is equipped with a completely different set of ethics. It's just kind of a character study in the sense that that is the type of person that Doc Ock is. He's an evil guy that, you know, doesn't necessarily mean to be evil, but uh, he sees things kind of in black and white and, uh, you know, thinks that he can do things better than Peter. And in some ways, he might be right, you know, but it's, it's that gray area that I find fascinating in, in a lot of stories. The next arc of the Superior Spider-Man is a time travel adventure that features a fight with a familiar face from the future.